Hello, let's continue with the Smart Assemblies Getting Started videos. Uh, you can find the product uh, in the separate Tools for Revit document tab. Before working with the Smart Assemblies, you, can, uh, you have to define mark values. Assembly name will be the same as the mark name, as the mark value. So right now uh, we will add those mark values manually, but um, actually you can use any other product, uh, any other tool for numbering those walls. We have a separate tool with the name sort mark for that. Okay, so uh, we're ready to go uh, because here I have added mark values. And let's press on create assembly. Here uh, you can find default uh, configuration. Okay, uh, we will use that uh, configuration for one assembly, and uh, it uh, the product can go not just for the walls, but also for the uh, columns, beams, uh, frames, foundations, and parts. Let's check result. Uh, here we can find um, assembly, and uh, we can find the front view, and the left side, and the top side views, and two shadows, material takeoff, and the part list. Now uh, let's go into shop drawing configuration and let's check uh, those views that were created. So as you see, uh, the tool created the views that we needed uh, as it was described in our configuration. Uh, you can add more, room, uh, more views if needed and uh, um, every view has view template. So it's a regular template that comes from your current project. Now let's check those views again. So um, I, I will open the front view and here we can see the view template. So the view template describes uh, how and what you want to see in the current view. Let's go into manage view templates. Uh, so here you can find the general list of all view templates that are created in your project. You can create your own view templates that can be assigned for every assembly view. And uh, let's change uh, the scale for um, our structural building elevation view template. Now uh, we have to update our assembly. Okay, but before that, let's check that only the front view uses that building elevation view template. All others, they use a structural section view template. So we will change them later as well. Okay, so after update, um, dimensions are adjusted according to our scale. But still, we have to do to do the same things with uh, the section views again. So let's go back here and let's just change the scale in this view. Again, we have to update assembly. Okay, so everything is okay now, and we can check those uh, section view and the left side and the top side views. Now, uh, in the front view, we can see that we don't have the metal hosted families included in the dimension chain. So, let's go back into shop drawing configuration and every view uses dimensioning rules. You can go to edit uh, dimensioning rules and dimensioning rules, they are saved in the separate name. You can save that and you can duplicate that for your future projects and for your future elements. And all those settings, they are grouped together. Uh, there are main element geometry uh, that goes for dimensions here. They goes for walls, columns, beams, frames, and foundations. You can assign how non-standard cuts or standard cuts should be dimensioned. And there are separate segment settings for hosted metal and concrete details. And there's a setting back elements in view. So the tool will include uh, back elements in view. Okay, uh, so that that's the one uh, that is important for us right now. Let's save this configuration and let's save this uh, shop drawing configuration. 
There is a separate uh, setting for a title block, so we can assign the title block again uh, for, for this uh, assembly. And let's update it. That's it. We can see that uh, there are additional dimension chain added for those elements. Actually, we can check that again in our configuration because in the dimensioning tools there is separate tab for dimensioning priorities. So here you can define uh, what will be what 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 will be the order of dimensions. So right now, the first chain will be for the openings, the second will be for the standard cuts, or the, the third for the non-standard cuts. And let's check the sheet. So the tool uses the title block we needed.